Hello all. In this particular tutorial, we will learn how to install MySQL 8.0.36 on Linux 8. As of today, this is the latest version which is available. So we are installing the latest version which is available as of today. Now, before I install, let me explain some of the commands that we will be using in this particular tutorial. To install the MySQL, we will use yum install command. Now remember one thing that this, this particular command is going to go to the internet and download the necessary MySQL packages. So the server where you are going to run this particular command needs to have the access to internet. If your server does not have access to the internet, then probably you will have to set up the local repository. How to set up the local repository that is out of this particular tutorial. So I will not cover in this particular tutorial, but we will use the yum install command to install the MySQL. Then once the MySQL is installed to see whether MySQL service is running, you will use systemctl status MySQL D command. Now, if it is not running, you can use systemctl start MySQL D. And if, if you want to stop it for any reason, you can use systemctl stop MySQL D command. Now, once we have once we have installed and started the MySQL, let's see how to change the root password. Now, first time that the password which is assigned to MySQL, that's a temporary password. We need to change it. To change it, we will use sudo MySQL command. So we will use the sudo MySQL command. And then once we are connected to the MySQL, we will use alter user root at localhost identified by. And here we'll give a complex password. Now I'm giving pass 1234 hash. This is really not a complex password, but you should choose a complex password. Now, once we have changed the particular password, then we will use this particular password to connect to the MySQL. So we will use this particular password to connect to the MySQL. Now that we have connected to the MySQL using the new password, let's see how to create the database. To create the database, you will use command create database, first database. This is the name of the database. You can choose whatever name you want or you can, based on your requirement, you can choose the database name. And once we have created the database, we can use show databases command to see whether that particular database is created. Now, once the database is created, we will use use first database command. So use first database means this is the name of the database and use means connecting to that particular database or any command that you, we, we will run after this particular command will be will be against this particular database so we will use this particular we will connect to that this particular database and we'll create a table called employee amp with these two columns and then to verify that the table is created we will use show tables command so now that we have seen all this so let's go on with all of these commands one by one so now the first thing that i want to show you is Let's see if we have got the, let's see if we have got the MySQL installed. So let you, we can use RPM minus QA pipe grep MySQL. And you can see, let's see if we will do the ignore case and let's see if we have MySQL and it looks like there is no MySQL package installed. So the first command that we will use run is m install minus y now remember one thing you can run you have to run this either using root or if you do if you if you cannot switch to the root then you need to have the sudo privilege so every command we will use the sudo now i'm already connected as a root so i don't have to use the sudo if you do not have the root password then you you need to have the sudo privileges to run this particular command so let's run this particular command and what it's going to do is going to go off the internet and you can see it's downloading this particular packages. And once it downloads this particular packages, it will start installing. Now, remember one thing is like on my server, it just installs four packages based on what are the dependencies. It might install more than one package on your server. So it, it will and looks like four packages are installed. Now, if I run, if I run the, the same command RPM minus QA grep minus I MySQL, you can see that we got MySQL server, the common package, add messages, and the module. So we got these four packages. And um, now that we the MySQL server is installed, first thing that we need to do, as I told you, first thing that I need we need to do is verify whether the MySQL is running or not. And if it is not running, we will start it. So let's use the systemctl status command. And you can see that 
active is inactive which means that it is right now not running so it is not running so what we will do we will use the system ctl start mysql d command so we will use the system ctl start mysql d command and once it is started we will use the same status command to verify whether it is running so let's see and you can see that previously we got status inactive now we got it active so looks like mysql is running so this is mysql is running so that looks good now what we will do that we have now that we have we have started the mysql let's change the temporary password so to do that to do that what we need to do is we need to run the sudo mysql so we are going to connect to the mysql server using sudo privileges so sudo mysql and then once we have connected to the mysql let's change the temporary password and here what i'm saying alter user change the password of root at localhost identified by some complex password once you run this particular command the root password is changed now here i ran the, the sudo mysql now let me run the same command once again and you will be able to see that it will say access denied we will not be able to connect to mysql so the because we have changed the password we will not be able to connect to mysql let's see that and you can see access denied for user so what we need to do now is we should say mysql minus u root minus p and here once we have to press the enter and then it will prompt for the password and this password i'm going to cop i have copied this particular password i'm going to enter that and you can see we are able we have connected to the mysql so how do you connect to the mysql you will use the mysql minus u root minus p and then you'll press enter and the password that we have set pass one two three four hash that we will enter and press enter and you can see that we have connected to mysql now once we have connected to the mysql we will now we will go ahead and create our first database to create the database we will run the command create database first database you can choose whatever the first database here is the name of the database and create database is the command so we are going to create this particular name the database called first database you can choose whatever name you want and that's done now to see the databases you will use the show databases command and this shows that we got some internal databases along with the first database that we just created so there are four internal databases and and this is the fifth database which is the first database that we created now that we have create connect now that we have created this particular database let's connect to that particular database and to do that we will say use first database and then database change you can see the database change and now if i say show tables there won't be any tables because this is just a database empty set so there is no table because we just created this particular database and now we will create a first table called create using the create table amp these are the two columns one is the employee id and one is the employee name that's done and if i now say show tables you can see we got one table called employee and if i run select star from amp we should get empty or no records because we, we just created this particular empty table we did not insert now that we have seen all of this let's 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 see something optional so if you want to if something is wrong with mysql and you want to check what's wrong with the mysql then in the where log mysql directory you will find mysql d log using that particular log you can find out whether the mysql is running or if something is wrong and optionally in the production environment you should run mysql secure installation this particular command will set some of the security parameters in your mysql so this is something that you should do in the production maybe if you are doing this in for your lab then you don't have to do this but in your production try a particular command so now let's see the log and we will so let's take a look at the log so clear the screen and let's see what is happening with the mysql to do that we will use the cat mysql command and you can see and it will give you the, with the timestamp it with will with the timestamp it will show you what's happening with your mysql instance and this brings to the end of this, this particular tutorial in this particular tutorial we learned how to install mysql 8.0.36 and not only that we learned how to start it 
we learned how to change the root password we learned how to connect to the to the mysql how to create a database how to create a table thank you for watching see you in next tutorial and if you did like the video if you do like the content that i'm up uploading to my channel do subscribe to my channel thank you and see you in next tutorial bye bye